The test statistic of Z equals 2.655 is obtained when testing the claim that proportion P is not equal to 0 0.383. In part A, we want to identify the hypothesis test as being two-tailed, left-tailed, or right-tailed. Part B, find the p-value, and then C, using a significance level of alpha equal to 0 0.10, should we reject the null hypothesis, or should we fail to reject the null hypothesis? So let's go ahead and first start with the claim and the opposite of the claim. Okay, so we're given the claim here. So the claim is that the population proportion is not equal to 0 0.383. Okay, so let's determine and identify the null and the alternative hypothesis. So if we know the claim is that the proportion is not equal to 0 0.383, then therefore the opposite of the claim would be that the proportion is equal to 0 0.383. So remember here that the null hypothesis is always going to contain the equality. And the equality is in the opposite, so therefore P is going to equal 0 0.383 for the null. And therefore, the alternative hypothesis is going to be P not equal to 0 0.383. Okay, and so now we need to determine whether this is a two-tailed, left-tailed, or right-tailed test. Okay, now, remember here, to, to determine the type of test, we need to look at the symbol used in the alternative hypothesis. The symbol greater than points to the right and the test is right-tailed. If the symbol is pointing to the left, which is less than, points to the left, and therefore the test is left-tailed. If the symbol not equals is used for a two-tailed test. So if we look here, the alternative hypothesis has the not equal sign, and therefore we would say that this is a two-tail test. So this is a two-tailed test. Okay, now we need to determine the p-value. So in order to determine a p-value, we first need to first figure out what is the significance level. In part C, the significance level is 0 0.10. So alpha is equal to 0 0.10. Okay, now in order to figure out the p-value for this proportion, Okay, we first need to determine also the test statistic. Well, that's given here, which is Z, which is equal to 2.65. So now, in order to figure out the p-value, then what we need to do is draw the curve and then label. So let's draw the curve. Okay, and then what we're going to do is draw our mean here. We know our test statistic of Z is equal to 2.65. So that means we have the area here, right? But remember that this is a two-tail distribution, which means that we have also those two. So that means the p-value is going to be multiplied by 2. So now in order to find the p-value, okay, it's going to be the z test statistic. And you can see here we can find the greater than or equal to, which is 2.65. Okay, and then that's going to give us the area in the right tail. So let's go ahead and then open up StatCrunch to determine what is that area, or in other words, p-value. So we're going to go to Stat, Calculators, and then scroll down to Normal, since we're using the Z-Test statistic. 
we're going to make sure that this says greater than or equal to. And then we're going to put in our test statistic of 2.65. And it gives us the p-value of 0 0.04. So that means you have 0 0.04. Zero, zero, 004. But since it's two tailed, you also have 0 0.004 on this side as well. So to find this p value, we need to take two, since it's a two tail, and multiply it by 0 0.004. And therefore, this is going to equal 0 0.008. So the p value is equal to 0 0.008. Let's go ahead and check here. We get 0 0.008 and there is our result. Okay, now we need to determine <clears throat> whether we reject the null or fail to reject the null hypothesis. So in order to do that, we need to compare our p-value that we found to the significance level. So Let's go ahead and write that out. We know that the p-value is given, and then we know that the significance level, if we come back up here to step four, is equal to 0 0.10. Now recall that we reject the null if the p-value is less than or equal to the significance level, and we fail to reject the null if the p-value is greater than the significance level. So we're gonna compare the p-value, which is 0 0.008, to the significance level of 0 0.10. Well, we can see that the p-value is less than the significance level. And therefore, we would say that we're going to reject the null hypothesis. So we would then say we would reject the null hypothesis, and we would say that there is sufficient evidence to support the claim that P, or the proportion, does not equal the value of 0 0.383. So let's go ahead and put that in there. So we would say that reject the null, and there is sufficient evidence to support the claim that the population proportion does not equal 0 0.383. Let's check our answer, and there is our result.